Hi, I'm Pat Fume. I've been a realtor for over 30 years. I'm a host of the American Dream Show. Welcome to my show. Is this for real estate? The American dream is the belief that the freedoms of this country bring us together and give us all individually the opportunity to achieve our biggest goals and aspirations. Hi, my name is Craig Sewing, the creator and founder of The American Dream, a national TV show centered around real estate, lifestyle, and culture. It's been nominated for an Emmy. We bring you a show of real stories in real neighborhoods with real experts. Today, I'm excited to announce our elite expert and new host in your market. She is a master of her craft and has built her life around turning that dream that so many of us share into a reality. Follow along as she takes you on a tour of the real estate, the lifestyle, the culture of an area that she knows best and why her city is the perfect place for you to build your American dream. Hi, I'm Pat Fume, host of American Dream. Today we're taking a tour of one of the most historic towns in South Jersey, Mount Laurel. So much history in this town is absolutely amazing. Originally settled by the Lenape Indians, we had the Quakers who settled here in the 1600s and they actually built their meeting house and the Clinton house, which are still in use to this day. Right now we're here at the historic shops at Rancocas Woods. We got an eclectic mix of rustic log cabins that are outdoor shops, a little bit of everything, places to eat, snacks, fun place for the family to hang out or spend a day or an afternoon here. We also have a farmer's market going on here today. I have a couple of really interesting guests we're going to interview and we're going to go hang out at the fall festival in Mount Laurel. So let's go take a tour, Mount Laurel, New Jersey. Hi, I'm here with Mike Sharp, founder and executive chairman of the Sharp Financial Group. Thank you so much for being with us today, Mike. Thank you, Pat. It's nice to be here. So what is your background with the Sharp Financial Group and things that you do? Uh, I am the uh, founder uh, and the uh, executive chairman. Uh, we have uh, an integrated uh, financial services platform. So I understand before this you were into sports coaching. Yes, I was. I coached club basketball and AAU basketball. Kids ages about six till they graduated high school and now run an AAU uh, basketball youth program in Philadelphia. And you were involved in a lot of charity work that does help children and I know the biggest one was Good Grief which he actually got a hero award a few years ago which is a huge honor. I think in working with kids uh, with basketball um, it's just something I really wanted to give back. Uh, I dealt with a lot of, of the kids in the inner city and, and I see on a daily basis what them and their families go through and I, yeah. I wanted to do something and I wanted our firm to be involved in that. We have a company, an organization, Able Force that helps children, young adults with intellectual or cognitive um, yeah, mm -hmm. disabilities. Uh, Liguori Academy in Philadelphia, which gives kids a second chance that may not have made it through high school. That's what all these programs are about. They're, they're really about to help kids that have had some trauma, whatever it may be. Right. There's all of these programs out there to help support the kids and their families. And then, That's huge. Yeah, and then, and then trying to use some of the celebrity, especially celebrity athletes that we know right. will get their attention. All right, well, thank you so much for being with us on the American Dream. I really appreciate you taking the time. It was a pleasure to meet you. We're here at the Mount Law Fall Festival. I'm here with Mayor Steven Steglick. And uh, we just left Rancocas Woods. This is kind of Rancocas Woods on steroids today, huh? <laughs> so what's going on here? What can you tell us about the Fall Festival? Well, this is the third annual uh, Mount Laurel Food Truck Festival. Um, when I first got on council a few years ago, this was an idea I pitched and took a little bit to uh, get off the ground. But now I'm proud to say this is an annual event that everybody looks forward to, as you can tell. It's and, packed. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of people <laughs> from all over. We were just at Rancocas Woods and you said they're undergoing like a big revitalization yeah. as well, correct? Yeah, we, we've made it a point in our uh, time of being on council is to revi make this area a revitalized area, really do uh, good work in uh, supporting those businesses, 
and we're putting resources together, re-engineering the whole outlook and the layout, wow. but we're also making sure that the, the residents in that area know what's happening and they have their input too. So it's a real community rebuild. And what's going on here at the Mount Laurel Fall Festival? You got a lot of stuff going on here. Yeah, we got plenty of food, some beer. We have some things for kids to hang out and play and, and all that houses, stuff. And, yeah. <laughs> and then we also have our township resources too. So you can meet your cops, you can meet your all chief, right. you can meet your township employees and get to know people. And that's how we build a, a better sense of community has been our goal here in Mount Laurel. So what else is going on in Mount Laurel that you'd like to tell us about? Well, we have some great businesses coming uh, to Mount Laurel. We have, uh, we're always expanding our parks as well. Next week, we're actually unveiling a new basketball court. Well, thank you so much for being with us on the American Dream. I really thank appreciate you, it. I appreciate you. I'm here at the kids section of the Mount Laurel Fall Festival. I think I'm gonna go take a jump in the bouncy house. Until next time, I'm Pat Fume, host of the American Dream. Take care.